What's going on everyone? It's your boy um JRPG back here um with a game collection video. So you know just in case I'm gonna show you all the games that I have and you know just in case you guys want to um select what games we should play after this God of War walkthrough. So uh, let's get started. So I'd like to do them in some kind of chronological order but not too exact. But yeah, that's fine. So start here with the first stack. We're gonna do three parts. We're gonna do the first stack here, which is gonna be one part. Second stack, which is gonna be two parts, and the third stack, which is gonna be the third part. <coughs> Jesus Christ, my voice. Right. So um, let's just get straight into this. So then, if I just push these over <coughs> ever so gently. <coughs> there you go. So the first game we have in this collection here is in this stack is Far Cry Primal. I got the special edition. I think I got it on the day it came out because I was super hyped for it. Um, it lived up to the hype a little bit for me, not too much. Quite good though. I actually quite did like it. So you know what? This game is quite good. Would I recommend it? Um, it's not like much in any of the other Far Cry games. It feels very different. That's because it's in Stone Age. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah, sure, if you like Stone Age and First Place Shooters and all that, yeah, sure. I'd probably give this game, like, a good solid 8 out of 10, probably. Okay, let me just put this back in the collection. And then, now, there's one game that comes next, which I haven't got this back, so I'm playing it right now. Let me get it real quick. The game, the game we have here is God of War. This is a brilliant game. This is... So far, game of 2018. This is really good game. I really like this game. Platinum, just got the platinum a couple of days ago. I tell you what, this game is so good. Like it's amazing. Like like I said in the other video, a lot of people complain about name. It's just a name to me. Don't really care. Santa Monica did a uh, Sony Santa Monica did a good job. I definitely give this a 10 out of 10. This is a really good game. Hopefully more games like this come out, like Spider-Man and all that. I'm super pumped for Spyro as well. Next we have Assassin's Creed Origins. I love this game. <clears throat> because, well, I have quite a lot of unpopular gaming opinions. And this is one of them. I love the Assassin's Creed series. However, I do hate, absolutely hate, some titles of the series. But they're not ones that you would mostly expect. But this one here is actually really good. This is my favourite one. Because, you know, it's it's they took two years break and they made it just a whole lot better. So you know what I give this probably this is my one of my favourite series. I'll probably give this a nice little 9.5, 10 maybe, something like that. Let's pop this back in the collection. Right? Okay. Next game we have. Fort Honor. I was super, super pumped about this game. Uh, they've got the deluxe edition as well. I was super pumped because this game, I was so hyped because, um, you know, knights, vikings and samurai going out against each other. Who, How does that not, like, that sounds just epic. Now the game, I mean, it did disappoint a little bit, a tiny bit, like the servers and I constantly get kicked out. And when me and my cousin used to play, like every time, say like we got kicked out of a lobby, we get kicked out of a party as well. <clears throat> And the servers weren't always that too good, and the story wasn't great, but so yeah, it's good that they actually even bothered with the campaign mode. So I'll tell you what, this is quite a good game. I'll give this probably a solid 8.5 as well. I enjoyed the multiplayer. It was very good. Especially Dom Dom Dominion, I think it's called. I love that. <clears throat> right, there's some games in this collection I haven't played yet. Uh, so when I do play them, I'd like to play them on the channel. This game here, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Now, oh my god hands down one of the best games of 2015 this game is amazing i love this game i completed it not 100 percent or even platinum or anything just just finish the main story it took me literally a whole week to finish main story that's how long the main story is like it usually takes me about what what one day two days and you know what this is a definitely great game i would recommend it if you love rpg and fantasy and all that this is definitely your type of game this is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. This game is a ma it's a masterpiece. Not like that, no. Not like, no, I should stop. Okay. Oh, oh, low battery. Let me just charge my phone real quick. I'll do it after the video. 
So let's rush this up a little bit. Uh, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. You know, this is a good game as well. It's like, it's, it's quite good, you know, setting Lord of the Rings and that. Yeah, I'll probably recommend this if you're a Lord of the Rings fan. This is definitely like a 8 for me. A lot of games are 8 for me. Shadow of War. This is one of the games I haven't played yet. I haven't played this game yet, but I will be doing that. And, um, you know, I'll play it on the channel here. It's a sequel to Shadow of Mordor, so I can't give any rating yet because I have not played it. The Ezio Collection. This comes with Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and Revelations. Now, this game... These three games are they're not my favourite in the series. Assassin's Creed 2 was alright, I guess. Brotherhood was absolutely boring for me. And Revelations was one of the best ones ever. So Assassin's Creed 2, I'll probably give this a nice little 7, probably. Brotherhood 4. I'm sorry, I, was, I said, I, this is what I mean by unpopular gaming opinion. Is like, I hated Brotherhood so much. I'll still get the Platinum, though. And Revelations... Nine. Love this game. Beautiful game. Assassin's Creed Revelations. Right, up next, Minecraft Story Mode. It's actually not that bad. I've got the Platinum on this, and it's not that bad. It's actually quite good, the story now, because obviously, you know, it's Telltale. They tell amazing stories. It's not that bad. It's not like craft. you've got to constantly craft and chop down trees and mine and all that. It's totally different. It's an actual full-on story mode. It's pretty cool. Chronicles. Oh my, I hate these games. I hate these three games. China is the best, and that's and that's like just not saying much. Honestly, China is three. We move on to India. This is like below three territory here. This is two. And Russia, one. These games are start off too bloody hard. I did not care for a single one of these characters. Just awful. Just awful, the whole side scrolling thing and that. Just just awful. They did this really bad. I hated this one. I, can't, well, I couldn't wait until it was over. I caught, I caught all the time. Assassin's Creed 4. Now, I agree with what some people say here. That they say um, this is more of a pirate game than an Assassin's Creed game. Which is true. He only becomes an assassin at the end. But I quite liked it. You know, it was quite fun. You know, like pirate simulator. But it definitely not... In my top three of the Assassin's Creed series. Not at all. You know, good game, but... Not... Not too much for me. Um, Unity. Assassin's Creed Unity. Horrible. 3 out of 10. Hated it. Horrible 3 out of 10. Um, Thief. Uh, it's it's alright, I guess. It's 7. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too, it wasn't too horrible. Syndicate. Uh, my second favourite Assassin's Creed game. This is a definite 9 out of 10. 9.5 probably. A lot of you won't agree with me on this, but I actually really like this. I like the character Jacob. Evie was quite boring, but... No, quite good. Also like the main villain. He's pretty cool. The Order 1886. This, um... It's not as bad as people say. You know, I quite like the cinematic game and all that, but... It's, um... It, it deserves a sequel. It needs a sequel because... It just it needs a chance to redeem itself. And I, I pretty much like it. Battlefield 1 is one of the games I haven't played yet as well. We'll definitely be playing that on the channel though. So yeah, I can't really give a rate more on that. Call of Duty World War 2, I played this. It's, it's fun, like the multiplayer and all that. And the campaign is pretty good as well. Um, this is probably a good like 8.5, probably 8. Um, yes. Yeah, still the same Call of Duty format though, just like World War Two and all that. Back to the first ones. And the final game we have in this stack is Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. I have only played the beginning of this, so I can't really say much about it. Other than it. The beginning was alright, I guess. Pretty good. And that's all for the first stack, um, which was part one. Part two is coming soon. And uh, yeah, of this stack. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.